9,330 pounds. This is the Jayco Eagle 30.5 uh, CK TS here at Halid RV. Center kitchen triple slide. Don't call it a rear living room. It's a center kitchen. They really want you to know that it's a center kitchen down at Jayco, not a rear living room. Um, which is funny because this is essentially the same layout you'll find in the uh, 30 RLS Cougar half ton <laughs> rear living or the uh, Highland Ridge 291 or 2910 RL um, fifth wheels here at Halet RV. We carry multiple different versions of this layout because this is a stone cold stunner of layout. This is really just the, the living room flip flop version of the Eagle HT 28.5 RSTS. The uh, 28.5 is a little lighter, a little smaller, a little less money. It has the kitchen slide over here and the living room over there. By flip-flopping them, you do have to extend the RV a little bit, but the key difference is it gives you all these windows on the campsite of the RV instead of on the neighbor side of the RV. That's really the main difference here. Now, like I said, the RV, to do it right, to give you the good storage in the kitchen you need, uh, you do need to extend the RV a little bit like they've done here. So what we're looking at, is effectively the biggest living room you can possibly get before you start going to a full bedroom fifth wheel slide. Um, now that being said, th this is called an Eagle HT and that name generally denotes half ton towing. That being said, I've said in a lot of my videos, I'm not a big fan of half ton towing of any fifth wheel. And uh, you're, like some people are going to say, well, what do you mean? My truck, my half ton's rated for towing 11.4 or 12.4. That doesn't mean that you have the payload rating to handle this, and I'll talk more about that when we get outside. So um, let's get moving here. Let's start from the top down. Eagle was the first, especially in this uh, smaller fifth wheel segment, not the bed slides, but the closet slide segment, to have whisper ducted central AC. We got a 15,000 BTU centralized system here. That's normal. You don't have to pay extra to upgrade to a 15K on an Eagle. They just do that. That being said, I don't know of any manufacturer, well, really any dealer, that's really stocking an RV this size with a 13,000 BTU air. And if so, they obviously have no interest in taking care of their customers. That's just nonsense. So this is 70 to 90% quieter because you can't see the square, so you won't hear the air. That's basically the best way to remember it. Now you've got dual recliners uh, in one form or another because remember, this could be different from the one that we have in stock, but you've got some sort of primary seating arrangement directly across from your TV, which is included. It's simply uh, been shipped loose so that you folks are the first ones to touch it, other than our quality inspection team here at Aylid RV. Every RV here goes through three layers of quality inspection before it's released to you. So the TV can swing out for easy viewing at magnet latches for transit, plus it actually has little um, safety straps for transit as well, so there's two locking mechanisms. Storage behind, and they actually do run HD wiring, not just an HD capable Furion TV. What's also neat is this is also a Furion system here, so they talk to each other. If you pop a disc in here, it will go bloop, and the TV will go, oh, you want to watch a DVD? No problem. I got you, fam. It'll flip right over. Something I want to point out here is that this has uh, HD face-mounted input. So, like, if you have one of those uh, Chromecast-type stream sticks or something and a powering USB plug, you can plug in, like, the Roku stick or the Amazon Fire Stick or whatever, and you can power it right here. Um, just be careful if you close the door, you know, you don't want to break your USB plug there. Electric space heating fireplace with a little bit of storage on each side. That's remote control. And you can turn on just the visuals without the heat, which is nice. Back here, big uh, trifold three-section sleeper sofa for the grandkids to join us. And notice those little green lights on both sides of the sofa. Um, there are household and USB outlets on both sides of this sofa. That's an extra little detail thing I see here done on the Eagles that I don't see across most brands, but extra detail stuff is what defines Eagle. Um, and that's really the message of the day here. What are you looking to accomplish in your fifth wheel? If what you're looking for is just to cover all the basics, nothing uh, flashy but super effective, that's kind of where the Cougars come into play. An Eagle, by contrast, will be more weight. It will be more money. It will have more content. Whether those things are uh, it, uh, important to you or not, that remains to be seen, such as the fact that Eagles have these neat little, like, dimmer switch lighting. Maybe this is a content thing you don't care about. You know, it still flips your lights off and on, but if you hold the button, it'll dim down. So you get some great evening viewing. Um, you also have another one of those dimmer switches on these lights here. We got a bulb out. Don't worry, we'll get that taken care of. Hey, <laughs> now you know. We address stuff. But um, it, it's that's that's kind of the stuff I mean, extra little detail stuff. So uh, a lot of brands are putting a theater seat here, and I don't necessarily disagree with that. Eagle still offers a pair of recliners standard. And 
Although they do offer a theater upgrade, it doesn't make sense, like, it, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to add another 500 bucks to this RV when you still have dual seating, individual recliners. Why pay more money for one seat that does the same thing as these two seats that are standard? That's kind of our logic on that. If you disagree, please drop a note in the uh, comment section. You know, would you be willing to pay an extra $500 just to see a theater seat here when the twin recliners can do their own thing? And we have a lot of people who request recliners anyway, so we figured, why not? Now, uh, detail stuff. Windows open for ventilation on both sofa and slide side, so that you get some excellent airflow here. All of your cabinetry is lumber core, pocket screwed. You can reach back here and feel how this is screwed together. And you notice that it's uh, strutted, easy lift, and self-supporting with hidden hinges. Um, you know, the, so really you're getting the best of all the worlds here. Um, hardwood slide fascia. Uh, I do like that extra kick of storage above those recliners. That's a nice little touch right there. Now, Eagles always have an insulated slide out. This is uh, 0 to 100 degree rated. Just like Big Brother Eagle, the HT series is still weather tested and proven in uh, 0 to 100 degree camp scenarios. You have to be careful of that because there's a lot of brands that like to say, like, They'll put the sticker on the side, weather package, and there's a picture of a leaf, a picture of a sun, a picture of some grass, a picture of a snowflake. That doesn't mean it's actually been weather tested. It just means they did something to it. It could be as simple as just enclosing the underbelly. This has an enclosed for, you know, we'll talk about that outside. I, I'm getting off topic. Um, the dining table here. This is something that Eagle does very, very well. And uh, Winnebago used to do a very similar setup, but they went away from these twin little folding chairs, and they went to four full-time fixed chairs. And I, I like this arrangement. This is a couple's coach. Most of the time, you just need two chairs. If you're going to have a guest, pull out those hideaway chairs. You have the extension leaf here on the table you can always pull out. And obviously, the table top is an easy lift sort of desktop, if you will. Um, and again, all the windows on the door side of the RV. They just nailed that. I do like their islands. They do uh, very well. Actually, Jayco's gotten very good at this across the board. Asymmetrical islands. So you've got huge storage below this uh, stainless steel sink. Aluminum roll-away drying rack, single sink cover. We've got um, a uh, pull-out sprayer faucet. A lot of that stuff is not terribly uncommon in this segment, though. That stainless sink is a nice material step above from industry standard. But this extra junk, uh, or uh, jut out, chunk, <laughs> chunk. <laughs> That's jut and chunk combined together in my definitionary. Gives you the extra cabinet and drawer space over here. Now, I want you to count them up with me. We've got one, two, three p -p 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 pantries in this thing. This has some crazy good kitchen storage in it. It is really impressive, all of the uh, you know dry storage capacity that this thing has. So you've got one of these big pantries here, another one beside the refrigerator. Now that over there is either a closet or a pantry. We'll look at that in just a second. Stainless appliance bundle, eight cubic foot fridge. Not terribly uncommon in this segment, so I'm gonna keep cruising on from there. Um, I do like how they have drawers to the floor here. You've got five kitchen drawers right here in this area, plus an additional kitchen drawer in the little entry hutch next to us. That is a real tile backsplash, by the way. That's not just like a, a, a cheap wallpaper. And notice how everything has an accent to it. You've got an accent wall back there. You've got accent walls on the slide out. You've got accent walls on the rear here. You'll see that, you know, like in the headboard and then ba uh, bathroom area. They make sure that every room, everything has its own touched uh, effective decor. Um, let's go over here. So our little entry hutch, this is a nice little appliance station. Perfect little coffee maker corner back here now that I'm looking at it. But um, you can see that you've got all kinds of great storage overhead. But it's this closet right here that is just a, a very Jayco thing. Um, so right now, we've got just a giant hanging coat closet right by the door. I like that. But maybe you don't need all that. Well, it's not even as simple as one, two, three. It's as simple as one. Pull the pin, drop it down. Well, maybe two. One, two. So bang! Now suddenly we've got a huge extra cabinet right here where you need it. That's fantastic. Um, moving on upstairs, right when you walk in the door, we have our easy access control panel here. Now, real quick, something I want to point out. For travelers, guys, if you close the slide out, you can still access this refrigerator. You can see that it's close, but it's unobstructed. You can still get to that fridge, and with the slide closed, you can still uh, get to this side of the dinette or dining table or whatever it is. So you can still sit down while you're traveling. It, it's it, it's a That's another benefit that this floor plan has over the 28.5 RSTS Eagle HT. But again, the 28.5, little less weight, little less length, little less money. It all adds up. 
So, you know, it depends on what your goals you're trying to accomplish are. The touchscreen remote here is fantastic for a couple of reasons. Um, you can use this to uh, activate your slides, your awning, your stabilizers, your landing gear, etc. What I like about it, though, is um, if all these doors are closed, and like standing here, using the, the manual switches, I can't see the bedroom slide closing. I can't look at it to make sure it's going to close and not crush anything. But I can take this remote up there and I can do that. Or... Or I can take the remote outside and I can make sure this slide can open without hitting, you know, a tree or the power post or whatever at the park. So it's it's very good if you're setting up alone or don't have an extra set of eyes. Kill the light, save some power. Saving trees. All right, moving up here in the bathroom. They do a couple different things in the Eagle bathroom, which switch does well. Okay, so we got our main normal cabin lighting. We got our backlit morning mirror, indirect lighting back there. And then we have the little blue LED night light. And you can see that even during the day, it really cranks out some lumens. Um, you know, that it gives you the perfect way to be able to access your bathroom and use it functionally in the morning or evenings uh, or, you know, middle of the night if you wake up without disturbing anyone. Now, like I said, they use a little bit different decor, different wall panels, slightly different bathroom cabinet uh, uh, coloration in the bathroom because chances are your bathroom in your house doesn't look exactly like, you know, the, the living room does. So they kind of change it up. Now, you do have dual entry here. You can get to the bedroom on that side. That is a sliding privacy door. And by extending the bedroom closet here into the bathroom, they create this extra linen storage space that otherwise you just wouldn't have. And even though we've left the kitchen and living room, they still use all the same nice hidden hinge cabinets all the way through the coach. They don't start cutting corners just because we changed rooms. Um, the bedroom up here, Walking inside, we do have a true queen bed, a true 60 by 80 queen, and these are dual element reading lamps up here. If you tap it once, you get a nice little blue LED reading light, hold it, and blam, we get this nice bright white light. Um, both sides of the bed have a, a smaller hanging closet that is admittedly small, but uh, it's kind of just restricted by the profile of the fifth wheel. You know, they couldn't go four foot tall right there, but you do still enjoy uh, bed stands on both sides of beds, again, with outlets, and this bed does easy lift for storage below. All of your extra hanging storage you're going to find over here. So you're not hurting at all for hanging storage. It just kind of moved it a little. And by including a window in that bedroom slide right there, they've given this thing more light and airflow than most closet slide fifth wheels. Now, uh, let's step outside. We're going to learn a little bit more about uh, the construction aspects of this RV, as well as a couple more, you know, Jayco and, and uh, Eagle-centric features. Stay tuned. So the first thing I want to mention, just like I mentioned outside, there's some optional equipment present. This may not be the exact one we have in stock. Um, it might be pretty similar to this. It might be identical to it. It might not be. I don't know. But uh, you can visit the link in our video description or just give our team a call here to verify all that. So a uh, couple of things I want to point out that are non-standard are the frameless windows, which give it just that sleek look here. Heavily UV tinted, obviously. That gives you privacy and it keeps the interior cooler. And this, and this could be a whole video in and of itself. At the time of this filming, this is brand new. This is new Moride Orbital. So you guys have seen probably more ride hitches like on the big giant pinnacles and whatnot. It's a rubber shock dampener. So it can shock, uh, dampen shocks front to back and side to side as well as uh, up and down from the, equal, or the matching more ride suspension. But this also has that uh, revolution pin box technology where the entire pin box can pivot. So not only is this uh, made for best in ride handling, but it also is now short bed friendly. Previously on these, you kind of had to choose which one you wanted. Now you get the best of both worlds. Now, I'm sure that's not the least expensive pin box out there. But remember what I said, everything Eagle does is an extra step above. This is not intended to be the least expensive fifth wheel in its category. It's intended to be the best handling, best riding, best equipped thing in its category. So you can consider everything an equal value. It just depends on which features you value more. That's how you determine which is the best fifth wheel. And videos like ours here where we educate you, you know, this is where you learn that stuff. Now, not everyone takes this extreme that we do to go that far. But we, you know, we want to be your everything dealer. We want to go the extra step for you. Like the aluminum steps here, they're lighter weight than steel. They're uh, on a rainy day like today where my shoes are wet. They, uh, the anti-slip capacity of these things definitely comes into play. They're also not going to corrode. Now notice too that Eagle's smart. That's another thing Eagle is. Eagle is smarter. 
Uh, they have your entry step switch lighting out here where you can get to it. And it looks funny having these two speakers right here side by side, but it makes sense because if you think about it, you pop open the awning, that's the location most likely to have a picnic table. Here in your pass-through, you've got uh, motion-sensitive pass-through lighting. I simply have killed the power so far, but again, Eagle's smarter. Because if you look on the opposite side, you can see there's motion-sensitive lighting on both sides of the pass-through storage. Because guess what? You enter and try to access both sides of the pass-through storage. That's why it's a pass-through to get to both sides. I stress this because a lot of brands only have one light by the door because this is the side of the RV that people shop. That is the side of the RV that people use. Eagle gives you both. They have the same uh, heavy duty like industrial flooring here that they have in their toy haulers. I mentioned the outside TV hookups. They do have a full outside uh, shower, but they also include this handy little spray port with a uh, removable coil hose that has like a residential end fitting. Um, the front compartment here, it's quite large. It can fit up to four batteries, which is fantastic. You don't pay extra for things like batteries and cleaning and learning how the RV works at Halet RV, by the way. We don't do dealer fees. That stuff's uh, included with us. Um, I think we're good. I think you kind of get the idea up here. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's talk about uh, insulation packages. It starts at the ground, works its way up. Jayco has one of the very best insulation packages in this class. They were... Uh, I think the first fifth wheel in this class that actually tested and proved their products from zero to 100 degrees. They, uh, it starts with enclosed underbelly and the enclosure is actually mounted on top of the I-beam so that it can't sag. Think about that. Then they have uh, multiple layers of insulation. It's forced air heated. Now, then you get here into the, the belly compartment and you see that Oh, this is also insulated so that you have yet another thermal barrier to keep the outside temperatures from affecting the upper deck floor, which is your bed and bathroom. Then they uh, obviously have, I mentioned inside, they uh, you know insulate the slides, in, uh, extra insulation wraps around the roof, and the entirety of the underside of the gooseneck also insulated, including above the pin box, which is a thermal gap most brands miss. This is an upgrade, this is an option. SantaCon system empties your uh, holding tanks in half the time. Uh, it does have a manual override and it's also a power exhaust so it can actually uh, push uphill a little bit. Here we go, tires, endurance. Goodyear endurance radials. These are uh, exclusive to Jayco at the time of this filming. Uh, American sourced and they have the highest sidewall integrity ratings, speed ratings. They are also larger. At Halet RV, we generally, uh, if we choose how we build this, because sometimes we'll run out of stock and we have to call Jayco and say, get me whatever you can as soon as you can. If we build them how we want to, we put larger 16-inch tires on these like a big giant Eagle or North Point or Pinnacle or whatever. Um, it gives this RV more ground clearance, which makes it more three-quarter and one-ton friendly because remember, at 9,330 pounds, uh, chances are with the pin weight involved on this fifth wheel, it's too much for a half ton. Very, very few half tons are actually properly equipped to handle this. This is mostly a three quarter ton tower. Um, it also has an adjustable suspension. So not only is this uh, a more ride shock dampening suspension, it has adjustable axle hangers, which can then help uh, the RV, the body of it, shift up or down to be uh, even a better fit for those big trucks. And I'm trying not to slip on little chunks of ice below me right now, so pardon me. Uh, we've got a uh, aluminum uh, wall structure, floor structure. This does have what you would refer to as like a stick built roof, a wood constructed roof, but Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system has the greatest load bearing uh, of anything else in this market segment or pretty much the rest of the industry. 4,800 pound roof rating. Uh, your industry standard roof is rated for about 28 to 3,200. So that should give you an idea of how much more structure is involved in the, the Jayco roof line on these things. Um, the other benefit of uh, wood trusses as compared to like tubular aluminum is tubular aluminum is hollow and it's a terrible insulator. So you've got all these thermal gaps every 16 inches in your roof. Well, wood trusses don't have that problem. So it just it's just an extra thing that benefits you in that way. Something I want to talk about, remember when I said Eagle is smarter? Is Eagle smart lighting. Uh, if you take notice here, it's a new thing. Eagle's the first one to get it at Jayco, and it's going to start rolling out on other products. But when you flip on your side uh, marker or your, your turn signals, your side marker lights and then extra upper clearance lights blink along with those turn signals to give other drivers on the road better in, uh, understanding of your intentions. That's 
found at the time of this filming nowhere else in the business, although it's going to start rolling out through the rest of the Jayco family slowly here. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just extra stuff that they do, guys. Do you need any of this extra stuff? Do you have to have it? That's up to you, but generally speaking, no. There's other RVs that function perfectly well. It's just that this has a, a, a better function, a more comfort, more user friendliness, uh, extra features, extra fun. So it's up to you to decide what it is you want to accomplish in an RV. You know, if you're looking for something more base level, this is certainly never the wrong decision, but maybe it's not the best decision for you. But if you're looking for uh, something with all the bells, whistles, widgets, and whiz bangs, Eagle is the one. They are by far the best at that category, or best at that description in this category. But every RV is the best for a different reason. You know, and all you have to do is look at the warranties. Like, Jayco has a full two-year bumper to hitch warranty. You see a lot of things, they say, oh, we have a three-year warranty. No, they don't. They have a one-year warranty with a three-year structural coverage, and not all of those structural coverages are made equal. Some are worth absolute spit. So you guys have to really decide what factors are more important to you. I've presented the areas here where Eagle does well, but I present the areas where every brand we carry does well, and they all do well at different things, which is why we carry all of them. People call sometimes and say, hey, uh, between that, um, that open range and this Eagle, which one's better? No, they're both good in different ways. They're both good in different ways. Which things do you like better? If one was just better, we wouldn't carry them both. Think about that. So take care, stay safe, have fun, Happy camping, everyone. And remember that we only do everything here at Halo RV, whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, or everything in between. Have a great day.